At number 5 we have the KH-47M2 Kinjal, Russia's air-launched hypersonic missile. Introduced in 2018, the Kinjal means dagger in Russian. This missile was designed to strike targets at speeds only few defenses can handle. Launched from a MiG-31K interceptor, it's powered by a solid-fuel rocket and can reach speeds of up to Mach 10, roughly 10 times the speed of sound. Based on the ground-launched Iskander M missile, it can carry either a 500-kilogram conventional or a nuclear warhead, depending on the mission. With a range of about 2,000 kilometers, the Kinzhal can target command centers, air defense systems, or even large warships. It's been used in combat operations in Ukraine, making it one of the first hypersonic weapons ever deployed in real warfare. What makes the Kinzhal so dangerous isn't just its speed, it's its maneuverability. Unlike a traditional ballistic missile, it can alter its flight path mid-course, making interception extremely difficult. The Kinjal may not be the fastest missile on this list, but it represents the first real glimpse of how hypersonic weapons have changed modern warfare. It's fast, unpredictable, and nearly unstoppable. Next, we have the RS-28 Sarmat, Russia's next-generation intercontinental ballistic missile, better known by its NATO name, Satan-2. Developed as a replacement for the aging R-36M, the Sarmat entered service in 2023, becoming one of the heaviest and most powerful ICBMs ever built. Standing over 35 meters tall and weighing more than 200 tons, it can carry up to 15 independently targeted nuclear warheads or even boost a hypersonic glide vehicle like the Avangard. Once launched, the Sarmat exits the atmosphere before releasing its warheads, which can reach speeds of Mach 20 as they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Its range is virtually global. Estimated at over 18,000 kilometers, this allows it to strike anywhere on the planet. What makes it so formidable is not just its payload, but its unpredictability. The Sarmat can take unconventional flight paths, including over the South Pole, bypassing traditional radar networks designed for northern trajectories. With its combination of speed, range, and sheer destructive capability, the RS-28 Sarmat represents Russia's most powerful deterrent. It's a missile that is built to ensure no adversary would ever risk a first strike. At number 3, we have the Trident II D-5, the United States Navy's primary submarine-launched ballistic missile. It's a weapon that defines stealth, reach, and devastating power. Deployed on Ohio-class submarines since 1990, the Trident II can carry multiple independently targeted nuclear warheads, each capable of hitting different locations thousands of kilometers apart. Once launched from beneath the ocean's surface, the missile breaks through the waves and accelerates into space, reaching speeds of up to Mach 24 during re-entry, which is nearly 30,000 kilometers per hour. Its range exceeds 12,000 kilometers, allowing a submarine hidden anywhere in the ocean to strike targets across continents. What makes Trident II so deadly isn't just its speed, it's its stealth and survivability. These submarines can remain submerged for months, making the missile nearly impossible to detect before launch. It ensures America's second strike capability, meaning even in a nuclear exchange, the U.S. could still retaliate. For more than three decades, the Trident II has remained the cornerstone of America's nuclear deterrence. It's a silent guardian beneath the seas, ready but never seen. Next, we have China's DF-41, the most advanced intercontinental ballistic missile in the People's Liberation Army arsenal. Officially revealed during a military parade in 2019, the DF-41 marked China's leap into true global-range nuclear deterrence. This massive, solid-fueled missile can carry up to 10 independently targeted nuclear warheads, each capable of striking separate locations across the planet. With an estimated range of over 15,000 kilometers, the DF-41 can reach any target on Earth, and when its warheads re-enter the atmosphere, they can reach speeds of up to Mach 25, which is 25 times the speed of sound. Though it doesn't use a maneuverable glide vehicle like some Russian designs, its sheer speed, range, and multiple warhead capability make it one of the most formidable ICBMs ever developed. Launched from mobile road vehicles or hidden silo sites, the DF-41 gives China a flexible, survivable nuclear force that's difficult to track or preempt. It's a missile built not just for power but for global reach, one that firmly established China among the world's hypersonic superpowers. And finally, we have the Avangard, Russia's groundbreaking hypersonic glide vehicle. It's a weapon that redefined what speed and maneuverability mean in modern warfare. Officially entering service in 2019, the Avangard is launched atop an intercontinental ballistic missile like the RS-28 Sarmat or an older UR-100N. 
Once boosted into near space, the glide vehicle detaches, descending toward its target at speeds that can reach an astonishing Mach 27, which is nearly 33,000 km per hour. But speed alone isn't what makes Avangard terrifying. Unlike traditional warheads that follow predictable ballistic arcs, the Avangard can change course mid-flight, performing sharp maneuvers while traveling at hypersonic velocity. This makes it nearly impossible for current missile defense systems to intercept. Each Avangard can carry either a conventional or nuclear payload, and its extreme energy on impact gives it unmatched destructive potential. By combining orbital altitude, atmospheric reentry, and unpredictable flight paths, the Avangard stands as the pinnacle of hypersonic technology. It's built not just to outrun defenses, but to outthink them. And that wraps up the top five fastest hypersonic missiles in the world. If you're curious about what carries some of these powerful weapons beneath the waves, check out my video on every active U.S. Navy submarine. It's a good one. And don't forget to subscribe for more.